Bobby, thanks for being with us. I'm going to start with the same question that I asked the CEO of another exchange yesterday. How can you assure your own investors and customers that you haven't leveraged their money um, or their reserves short of publishing your balance sheet? Yeah, great question. You know, at Bitstamp, uh, you mentioned the longest running crypto exchange. We've made this topic, specifically regulatory compliance and the safety and security of our customer assets, the center of our company. So um, we, we absolutely segregate customer accounts. We absolutely never um, repurpose or use customer funds for anything. We're not affiliated or operating any trading operations or other investment schemes. Um, we're, we're on the other side of that ledger completely. Um, now, in terms of proving that, we, we, uh, we're working on several things. We've had a proof of reserves uh, process in play or in operation for a while that we hope to be able to release soon um, because the public and specifically crypto investors need to have that visibility and that transparency. Bobby, when can you release that? It feels to me like this is really a show me moment, not a tell me moment. A lot of the things that you are saying is what we've heard from other crypto exchanges. Sam Bankman Fried had similarities to what you're saying as well. And he was talking to regulators. So, you know, what can you do beyond that? I know that you're the CEO of the U.S. business, but what the last few days have showed us is that what happens internationally can affect what's happening here, even if there is more regulation. Yeah, absolutely. So so one of the things that's unique about our infrastructure and our approach to customer safety is we, we do not custody our clients' assets. We work with a separate entity, which we think builds in um, uh, risk management. So we work with a qualified, fully licensed custodian, BitGo. And I think we can work with them to provide some additional transparency in, in the near term while our proof of reserves process is underway with our auditor. One of the other things that um, you know we we took for granted, but I think is not normal practice in the crypto space, is we've been audited by a big four accounting firm for four years running um, on an annual basis. So we're actually working with them around our proof of reserves, um, and that's that's where where the time factor uh, comes your, in. Your U.S. reserves are audited by a big four accounting firm. What about what well, about your international? Reserves. Our, our, our global company is audited on a financial basis by a big four accounting firm. So do you including think then, the US. do you think then, Bobby, that um, tokens need to be regulated as securities? This fits into a conversation, an ongoing conversation we've had about stable coins as well. You bring up auditing and they're still not audited. Um, what kind of risk does that bring into the market? And do you feel comfortable having all of these tokens on your platform when you know, one, the past few days have shown that FTT, the FTX token, um, was not properly backed. Yeah, I, I feel absolutely comfortable that, um, that cryptocurrencies can be custodied safely and securely, such as in the manner that Bitstamp does it. I think the nature of cryptocurrencies and whether or not they qualify as securities is an entirely separate question. What we had with this FTX situation is, is I hate to say it, but a bad actor. Right, somebody who was um, using customer funds without <laughs> letting customers know to do things and to work with other um, affiliated entities and and presumably operate in the markets. It's very very risky and it's very dishonest. I don't think that that means uh, cryptocurrencies should be viewed as sec as securities. For instance, I think that's a separate question. 